Good morning. We are at Elmwood Cemetery in Memphis, Tennessee on September the 9th, 2020. From the very first centuries, the church has remembered the dead, those who have been particular examples of Christ-like love. From those early days, Christians would go out to the cemeteries and would celebrate the lives of those that they remembered and those that they seek to emulate. So we have come to Elmwood today on this, the Feast of Constance and her companions, and we will remember these beloved examples of those who followed Christ all the way to the end. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We give you thanks and praise, O God of compassion, for the heroic witness of the martyrs of Memphis, who in a time of plague and pestilence were steadfast in their care for the sick and dying, and loved not their own lives, even unto death. Inspire in us a like love and commitment to those in need, following the example of our Savior Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. God the Father, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. God the Son, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Holy Trinity, one God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Most merciful God, we come to you in this time of anxiety and uncertainty surrounding the outbreak of COVID-19. As the sorrows of our heart and mind increase, we beseech you to save us from all trouble and fear. Cast away all works of darkness. Be our rock, a castle to keep us safe. For the Lord is our stronghold and sure defense, and he will be our savior. For all who have died, receive them into the arms of your mercy. Grant them eternal peace and surround those who mourn with your healing grace. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those directly infected with the virus, help them recover in good health and restore them in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those at high risk of infection, especially the elderly, those with underlying illnesses, the marginalized and the poor, keep them healthy and free from all sickness. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those in quarantine, the shut-in, the infirmed, Help them find peace. Keep them in good health and renew their mind and spirit. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all hospitals, doctors, nurses, and staff, protect them as they minister to the sick. Relieve all stress and provide the resources and space to meet the needs of all the infirmed. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For first responders, Guard them from all harm and grant them strength and courage as they respond to all calls for help. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For service industry workers and those forced to work as their community shuts down, keep them healthy. Bestow the resources to best care for themselves and their families and assure them in times of financial and medical anxiety. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those experiencing financial loss and uncertainty of resources, have mercy on them, alleviate any fear, and provide them with daily bread and wage. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all schools, students, teachers, administrators, and school staff, as the schools have returned and are open and those who are learning in the virtual world, keep them healthy and in good spirit to learn as those who are without school at this time feed those who are going hungry without guaranteed meal and shelter all students who have no place to live Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for all places of worship embolden them to be beacons of hope and love and help us to gather however and wherever we can be it in person or online to give you praise Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. We ask prayers for the leaders of the church. We ask prayers for the young. We ask parents, prayers for parents and all of those who are charged with the care of young. For calm amidst the storm, as the waves toss our boat and we wonder, do you not care? 
remind us not to be afraid, that with you all things are possible, and that even the wind and sea obey you. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember this day Constance and her companions, the martyrs of Memphis, and all of those who have given themselves for the faith. Stir up in us a spirit of compassion and tenacity for the time ahead. Amen. Amen. Move us to check in with loved ones at high risk of infection and those in quarantine. Amen. Ease our fear and anxiety that we may share our resources rather than hoard them and extend a helping hand to those in need. Amen. Inspire us to share the good news of your love and hope. Amen. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, healer of the sick, ruler of the tempestuous sea, and Savior of the world. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 